the, the the base premium this is this is a traditional whole life policy where we sometimes refer it to as your mama's whole life mm -hmm. right and what that does is it provides a large amount of death benefit however it takes a few years to build up cash value but that those premiums will create cash value and that's one of the things that I don't like when people will will call the base premium cost of insurance or an expense, it's just more of a delayed, more of a delayed asset. Yeah. Okay. But if you have a whole life policy, you're going to need some level of of base premium. You you can add PUAs on there, and the the amount that you can add is dependent on a couple things. For one, it is the the MEC line or what the IRS deems as what's taxed as life insurance and what is taxed as as an as an investment. Now we can raise that MEC line by adding some form of of term insurance. However. Term insurance is an expense. So we do need to be careful of how much expenses that we put on the policy. And another factor that leads to how much you can put into base and PUAs is the insurance companies. Mm -hmm. Some of them have, have limits on what that ratio is, is, is going to be. And also there's more, there's more, some companies, you can't, it's difficult to design that a uh, uh, split specifically. Mm -hmm. They may have some other term riders that might make it a little bit different. So we can't even really allocate uh, a, a percentage. If you want to see the entire episode, click here. If you want to learn how investors use infinite banking to increase their returns and lower their taxes, click here. If you want to see if infinite banking is for you and you have some questions, hop on a discovery call with us and one of our coaches. The link for that will be in the description.